my name is Elliot this is freelance duck hunting and today I've got Georgie vlog 9 now Georgie is my black lab from Flatlander kennels amazing place up in Nebraska where Chris Jobman and his crew are training elite and producing elite elite animals I will leave a link to their Facebook page and their information if you need help on training or a pup or whatever go and check them out so this is my third dog now George is my third dog and I've never actually gotten live pigeons to train any of my dogs with so today we are about eight weeks out from the teal early season opener and that is going to be Georgie's very first hunt I, today fumbles and I are going to get four pigeons and we're gonna do some live bird work with her. So I'm like I said, I've never done this before. I'm sure you're gonna see me make mistakes. So if you have any comments, hey, you should do this, you should do that, you know, whatever, put it in the comment section below. I would appreciate the help. But before we get into the rest of that, I've got a very special offer I want to give to you. If you follow my channel at all, you know that I made a website called Freelance Hunt Stats where you can log all of your daily hunts and keep track of all of your numbers so that years later you can look back and remember your hunts and see what you harvested, what the weather was like during those times. So um, that is FreelanceHuntStats.com. Um, one quick way to get onto that site is to go over to my Patreon account patreon.com slash freelance duck hunting if you have a limited time if you sign up for the three dollars a month fan funding at patreon it will also come with a hunt stats membership as well so you can get a two for one here for a limited time so you might want to go check that out if you thought about starting to record your hunts and things of that nature so we're going to go ahead and get into it we're driving over and found this guy off craigslist we've got four pigeons coming and we'll just i don't know We'll see what's going on. This guy's worked with live pigeons before. Not me. Yep. Not me. So, ten dollars a bird's not bad. Here we go. What was your name again? Dan. Dan. Okay. All right. We're gonna go right home and introduce Georgie to this one right here. This one can't fly. All right. Let's see the other ones. Let me get a little of the other ones and we'll get out of here. So we got four. All right. And these are not like barn pigeons. They're, these are race birds, so they're very strong, powerful birds. All right. Well, thank you so much. This is going to be great. Cool. All right. This one's flightless, so we're just going to pitch it out and control Georgie and let her have a little fun, see how she reacts to it. Is it hurt? Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good girl. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Good dog. And good dog. Get it, George. Get it. Here. 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 Good girl. Here. She's having some issues with holding it, so I'm just going back to some hold drills with her. Fetch it. Hold it. Fetch it. Hold it. Hold it. Fetch it. Hold it. Hold it. Sit. Sit. Fetch it. Hold it. Here. Hold it. Hold it. Sit. Well, here are our little friends. And I am going to tape their wings. So right here, we're gonna tape. So that should 
might make them somewhat flightless. Looks pretty flightless. Alright, so I'm down to my last pigeon. This has been a learning experience for me and Georgie both. So at first she didn't want to pick it up at all. I had to do some force fetch stuff. I had to get on retriever trainer the retrievertrainer.com and ask some questions on there. Actually, Freddie King responded. Um, a lot of guys did. Not uncommon for how Georgie's acted is what my understanding. This is the first dog I've ever really worked with pigeons. So I'm an extreme amateur. So today, this last bird, I've got its wings tied, and I'm hoping the progress Georgie has made is that when we throw this, she will go and pick it up while it's flapping, which at first, when we first pulled the first pigeon and threw it, and it did a lot of flapping, she wouldn't pick it up. So hopefully we're to the point now where she's done that, and she will pick it up, and hopefully not maul it. I hope this one stays alive. So that's what we're gonna do today. Sit. Sit. So now I'm just gonna work, work her on some dead birds. Here, good girl. Hold it, hold it. Sit. She's coming along, so I'm happy with how she did today. Yeah. That's the end of our pigeon training. Comment in below about the whole process. I'm sure this is the first time I've ever done this. I'm sure I made mistakes, things I could have done better. You know, I dove right in, had problems, consulted with people on the retrievertrainer.com and did my best. So what did you like that I did? What did you think that I should have done better? Do you think I should go out and get more pigeons and, or do you think this is enough? So comment down below. Also, I'll leave a Georgie vlog playlist here where you can see all the work that I've done with her. Thank you so much. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.